quarter past 12 on a Wednesday. It's Dose Informa time. Adriana Rosas Rivera joining us. She has a preview of this week's episode of Dose Informa. That is bringing you information in Spanish to southern New England. Hello. Hi, Patrick. Well, today we're going to talk about lead paint in homes. Okay. Rhode Island Housing says more than 70% of homes in the state likely contain lead paint because they were built before 1978. Now, that's why they're offering the Lead Safe Homes program. This week, we spoke to Miguel Bernal from Progreso Latino. They're helping people apply for this program. It provides a forgivable loan to cover the cost of addressing lead paint on your property. Now, Progreso Latino has trans Translators who can help Spanish speakers with their application. That loan can help you get new windows and doors, paint your home, and install carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. The Rhode Island Department of Health says lead paint is dangerous for everyone, but especially children under the age of six. This week in our community segment, we also talked about Native American Heritage Month. We interviewed a local law professor who is chief of an indigenous tribe in Puerto Rico about how you can honor Native Americans this month. His full interview plus the top headlines are live right now on WPRI.com. All right, thanks so much for coming in. We Thank appreciate you, it. Excited to bring more information to our Spanish speaking communities. Check out WPRI.com.